Today we're going to talk about direct and inverse variation. Okay. So the first example says a varies directly with x squared. A equals 4 pi when x equals 2. Now, when it says directly, it means that the variable is equal to some constant multiplied by the other variable. So if a varies di directly with x squared, that means that a is equal to k times x squared. Now, whenever it gives you two conditions, is to find the other variable. So whenever a is 4 pi, so that means 4 pi equals k times 2 squared. That means 4 pi equals 4k. Therefore, if we divide by 4 on both sides, that implies that pi equals 2k. Hence, this becomes pi x squared. And that's your answer. Now, our next example talk about talks about inversely. Okay, so when f varies inversely with d squared, that means that f is equal to k divided by d squared. Now, when it gives you the condition that f is 10 when d equals 5, that means that 10 equals k over 5 squared. That becomes 10 equals k over 25. We cross multiply, we get 10 times 25 equals 2k. Now, what is 10 times 25? I have my calculator here somewhere. There it is. So, so 25 times 10 equals 250, obviously. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what I need calculators for. Um, 250, therefore f equals 250 divided by d squared. Now this problem is a little bit more challenging, not, not that intense. So it says z varies directly with the sum of the squares of x and y. Okay, so that means that z equals a constant times the sum of the squares, so x squared plus y squared. Now the condition, we apply the condition z equals to 5, k, 3 squared plus 4 squared. This implies that 5 equals to k times 9 plus 16. This implies that 20, that 5 equals to, uh, I don't like that scribble there. It's hideous. Let me rewrite it. 5 equals to k times 25 divided by 25. That means that k equals to one fifth. Okay. Now let's see. Is there any condition for k? The only condition for k is that it's a non-zero number. So k can be a fraction. Therefore, this becomes one fifth of x squared plus y squared. And that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or ask me in class. Thank you.